Now, Pope Francis wrapped up a peace mission to South Sudan, urging an end to the blind fury of violence. Pope Francis made peace and reconciliation the theme of his three-day trip to the world's newest nation. Before flying back to Rome, Pope Francis presided at a Sunday Mass on the grounds of a mausoleum for South Sudan's liberation hero, John Garang. Now, the large crowds of ecstatic worshippers streamed to see the 86-year-old pontiff. People waved national flags and sang the Argentine pontiff uh, moved through the crowds and the Pope voiced hope that people would build a reconciled future. South Sudan has been at war for about half of its young life. With 2.2 million internally displaced people and another 2 million outside the country, South Sudan is witness to the worst refugee crisis in Africa. The Pope received a rapturous welcome throughout his visit. It was his first papal visit to the country since it achieved independence from Sudan in 2011 after a long and bloody civil war. On Saturday, the Pope met victims of the civil war and urged the government to resume the peace process. The people also asked the government to restore dignity to those affected by the conflict. He made a pointed speech on Friday telling the country's leaders they need to make a new start towards reconciliation. Despite the initial independence of revelry in 2011, South Sudan was at war with itself just two years later. The conflict killed 400,000 people and displaced 4 million. A peace deal was signed in 2018 between the President Salva Kerr and his deputy Reik Machar. The Pope had promised in 2019 to travel to South Sudan when he hosted Kerr and Machar at a Vatican retreat. Back then, Pope Francis knelt and kissed the feet of the two foes whose personal armies had been accused of horrific war crimes. But four years later, the oil-rich country remains mired in intractable conflict. Poverty, hunger and natural disasters have compounded South Sudan's problems. In a sign of the challenges, at least 21 people were killed in a cattle raid on the eve of Pope Francis's visit. The Pope's stop in South Sudan followed a four-day visit to the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Democratic Republic of Congo is another resource-rich country plagued by persistent conflict. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.